The Bible teaches that Jesus is coming back to fetch a clean bride without spots and blemishes. The spots and blemishes are the sin in our lives and also the generational curses and sin. And the Bible also teaches that the bride must prepare herself. Ephesians 5.27 He did this to present her to himself as a glorious church without a spot or wrinkle or any other blemish. Instead, she will be holy and without fault. And 2 Peter 3 verse 14 Therefore, beloved, expecting these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace without spot and without blemish. And Revelation 19 verse 7 Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory, for the wedding of the Lamb has come. And his bride has made herself ready. So, with the rapture, Jesus is only coming for those who qualified as his bride. Those who allowed the Lord to take them through the wilderness, take them through the seasons of cleansing, purification, sanctification. Who really allowed the Lord to purify them and strip them from everything so that they can stand before him when he comes back without spots and blemishes. Only those people are going to be raptured. The rest, the people who believe in the Lord, but they did not allow the Lord to take them on that sanctification process to prepare themselves as bride those people are not going to get raptured they are going to stay behind and i always say if you are one of those people you are better off dying before the rapture because then you are like the guy on the cross who gave his heart to jesus and jesus said to him you will be with me in paradise today that guy is not bride he doesn't qualify as the bride of christ but he is still he still made it. There's a verse in the Bible where the Lord says some people will just like scrape through. 1 Corinthians 3 Their work will be shown for what it is, because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. If what has been built survives, the boulder will receive a reward. If it is burned up, the boulder will suffer loss, but yet will be saved, even though only as one escaping through the flames. And then in Revelation, it also says that the bride of Christ will be on a higher level with higher authority in heaven. They will also sit on the throne with Jesus, where Jesus sits on the throne with the Father. But the other people, the ones who did not qualify as bride, but they scraped through, they do not have the privilege to sit on the throne with Jesus. They are going to stand in front of the throne. So they have a lower level in heaven, but at least they made it. Revelation 3 verse 21. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. And then in Revelation 7, it speaks about the ones who did not qualify to sit on the throne with Jesus. Let's read it. Then one of the elders asked me, These in white robes, who are they? And where did they come from? I answered, Sir, you know. And he said, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. Okay, to get back to the people who will not get raptured. Now the rapture takes place, the bride of Christ gets raptured, and the other people who are still alive, who 
believe in the Lord, but they never qualified as bride. They stay behind. They now have to go through the tribulation period and sacrifice their lives. Um, their heads will be cut off in order for them then to make heaven. And this is another thing our churches just don't teach people, <clears throat> which is so frustrating. Because there will be so many people not making the rapture because their pastors tell them, no, you've prayed a little prayer, Jesus, please come into my heart, so you're fine. And it's, that's not the gospel. That is not what the Bible says. In the Bible, the Lord says that he will not come back until the time of the Gentiles has been fulfilled. Romans 11.25 but what it means is everyone who must still come into the kingdom of God and be prepared as the bride of Christ will come in and will have their season of preparation before Jesus will return. So Jesus' timeline or the Father's timeline rather for Jesus to return is perfect. Jesus will return when the time is right, when everybody who must be in the kingdom, is in the kingdom, and they are ready for Jesus with their spotless bridal gown on.